Hello everyone, welcome back to Jaeger Tech. It has been a while since I uploaded a video and there is a good reason for that. Uh, basically, I moved house to quite far away from where I was before and basically the last couple of months have been an absolute roller coaster, borderline nightmare in my life, but we're pretty much set up here now and so I have got plans to shoot and edit and upload more videos for you guys to watch. I am back, I'm bringing you guys more content and basically this vlog is just gonna be me tidying up the last few bits in the studio um, so that I can get filming content. So before this, this room was literally just full of boxes for so long, I had literally nothing set up. Um, but now we're almost there, just a few other bits to tidy up and while I'm doing it, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be finding a couple of like cool things I can talk to you guys about so it might be interesting to watch. Um, definitely a couple of pieces that I'm gonna be doing videos on soon. So if you're interested in that, then yeah, sure, go ahead, give it a watch. It might be interesting, might be a bit of fun. Uh, also, thank you all so much for all the support. I think since the last time I uploaded a video, I've had about a 50% increase in subscribers, which is absolutely crazy. I had no idea this was gonna happen. Uh, so we've gone way past the thousand mark and we're approaching the 1500 mark as I'm shooting this video. Uh, so thank you all so much for all your support, all the comments and stuff that you put on my videos. I appreciate it a lot. And I'm gonna be bringing you guys more content to explain that more. But this video is literally just gonna be like, a crappy little vlog of me doing random bits and talking random junk. So if you don't want to watch it, don't worry, don't bother. We're going to get back to regular content soon and see you then. I do not have as much time as I hoped to do this video, so it might be shorter than I expected. I definitely don't have time to do all of the tidying up that I wanted to do, um, but there'll be a couple of cool things, and let's start with this. So this is my new laptop. This is the new XPS 15, so that's the 9570. So this has Intel's uh, new six core laptop chips. Uh, so that's really cool, and uh, I want to do a review on it, but I, I don't really do consumer electronic reviews that much. Um, so I don't really know how to tackle it. I might do like a rapid fire in-depth review where I basically just skip all the standard stuff really quickly and then talk about the like real techy stuff like the thermals and how to get the most out of the CPU uh, and just, yeah, basically rapid fire, but in depth. So yeah, let me know if you want to see that. I don't know if it's worth doing. Let me know down in the comments, but it's a rip. In a nutshell, this laptop is fucking awesome, okay? It absolutely wipes the floor with its competitors. Um, and I, I think it depends on the price. I really need to um, have a look at the prices of competing products, but it is, if the price is decent compared to its competitors, it's an absolutely phenomenal uh, laptop to use and I would highly recommend it. Um, but we need to sort out all of this because this desk is just a nightmare. Um, so let's get cracking with that. Right, I'd call that done. This is just hooked up to the server at the moment. So actually these are pretty cool. Well, not that cool, but I basically got tired of running out of micro USB cables again, because apparently, you know, I bleed micro USB cables at this point. I buy some and they end up all disappearing, God knows where, I mean some break, but anyway, I just bought 10 off of eBay that are about a meter long, I think. 10 off of eBay from China for like three pounds 30, I think. So that's my recommendation on USB cables. Uh, go to China. Okay, I don't know what I want to do with that clock. It's too noisy, so 
is staying on the workbench. I'm just gonna test to make sure if this fan works or not. Uh, and I can do that easily because I put those Molex connectors in the back of my PC in that crappy video no one watched. So let's have a look at that. Okay, so where'd, where'd I put the fan? So I'm just gonna hook the fan. Ooh. I'm just gonna hook the fan into a Molex to fan connector. Then plug a Molex into the Molex in the back of my PC. Holy mother. Ho. <laughs> and I thought this was gonna be a boring video. What the fuck? Did, I hope that came up on camera okay. The freaking connector melted hardcore. Let's see if I can focus on that. Yeah, like, there's even bare wire showing up. I need to make sure that's not the adapter and that this fan is definitely broken. But shit, can you guys see that? Like, literally the connector's completely wrecked. Oh, my phone, shut up. <sighs> so one thing I'm struggling with is where to put this stuff. So these are just some cases. This is actually a really cool case. Um, this is a shuttle PC. It had a Pentium 4 in it, so it's like a single core CPU. Uh, it's super old. Um, but what I wanna do is do like a, like I've measured it and I've come up with plans. And basically I wanna do like a custom water-cooled, like really tiny PC. Like this isn't ITX, this takes a custom form factor. So it'll involve me like drilling out the case a lot, cutting in a hole in the top for a radiator and then just like custom water cooling and overclocking and turning this into like a really cool, really small gaming machine. But of course that requires a fair amount of money and I have absolutely no use for a system like that at the moment. So I don't even know if that project will ever happen, but I'm keeping the case just, <laughs> just, in, uh, just in case. Um, then at the bottom, there's an old Acer case, like just from, uh, just from an office PC that I intend to turn into a workbench, you know, like an, an open air workbench. Uh, so that's what I wanna do with that. Then we have the 50 pound PUBG gaming machine. This is basically gonna be a 50 pound custom water cooling loop. So it's a dual radiator um, with dual fans on it, all custom cooled. Um, and yeah, for the same price as this PC, which of course was super cheap in the first place. So that would be really cool. Uh, what I like about that idea is that that is cheaper than most high-end air coolers. So if we can beat a high-end air cooler with that, um, with that setup, then it's actually quite interesting. Um, if you were looking to get decent performance, um, and it might be a, like a legitimately good option. Uh, of course, it is kind of janky, um, but not as janky as you might think. Uh, and we're gonna be doing a couple of things and a couple of recommendations of what you, you should do um, if you were looking to go for that kind of setup. So that's a video I'm quite interested in doing. Uh, and actually I might get started on that pretty soon. So expect that relatively, relatively soon. Don't have too high expectations on that. But in the meantime, I need somewhere to store them. Uh, and they were gonna go under here, but there's a TV stand under here that I need to sell. And also, I want this workbench to be kind of movable so I can use it as like a set piece so I can like turn it and then shoot a video with a different backdrop um, on this. That might be quite good for reviews. So I don't want a lot of crap under it. So then the other option is here, but then I want to sit here. I kind of want to sit here so I can use it. So it might go under the window, actually. I'll just have like, you know, the PCs that I need to flip or that I want to keep for using. Actually, that's a really good idea. I'm going to do that now. I know this video hasn't been very big or very interesting, um, but it was literally just, I needed to get a video out, it was driving me crazy. And so I just wanted to quickly vlog this and put it out to you guys. And that is, that is basically it for the video. I told you the immediate things that are coming up on the channel, hopefully, um, and hopefully you had a bit of a laugh at me just failing at cleaning up. Like I did a bit and I am happy with what I've done, but I could have done a lot more. So. 
It's literally just me finding new places to put all the junk I seem to be collecting. I really need to have a clear out and stop just finding more places to put junk because you only get more of it in that case. Uh, I still have some more stuff I need to do, but that is gonna be it for this video. Uh, let me know what you wanna see on the channel. If there is a particular video you wanna see, I know that people have been asking for a really, really cheap gaming PC that can run lower end titles um, like Fortnite. And I'm, I am working on a 20, 30 pound project that can just about pull that off. Uh, but it is quite challenging and basically it takes time to find deals that good and I just don't have that much time. Uh, but if I do see a deal, I will jump on it and get that video to you. But if you have any other ideas for videos, let me know down in the comments below uh, and I will get back to you on that. I'll monitor the, video, the comments on this video quite strongly. Uh, but other than that, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for subscribing. I am gonna do something to celebrate all of my subscribers. I am gonna do something, I don't know what it is yet. And yeah, so watch out for that. But <sighs> thanks again. This has been Frank Yeager with Yeager Tech. Have a good one. That was fucked up. My adapter's fine, so that's good. Good job my PC's fine. Should probably not test stuff on that as much.